So last week was Ethereum DevCon and it was crazy. It opened my eyes to everything that's going on in the development world. And I can say it completely changed the way I view my investments in crypto and what things are going forward. And something that I sensed and I felt here was that they are preparing not for the multi-billion dollars, but the multi-trillion dollars to flow into crypto and the services that they are going to provide. On top of this, I was getting the most of the narratives. That's most important because if you look at the plays of narratives, right? Like say for example, the RWA play. Well, that narrative sent Mantra Dow from simply 50 cents to more than $3 right now. That is how crazy a narrative can play. So this video, I'm focusing on gathering what narratives there are that are popular in this space and on top what other people are thinking about in terms of narratives. So yeah, lots of interviews packed in here, lots of insight. You really need to pay attention, especially to the end because we're dropping some mad alpha there. And of course, everything covered here is my personal opinion, not financial advice. Let's get started. All right, so we're here with Hikaru, my, one of my best friends. Hi, right, what's uh, up, guys? From the human and the machine. That's right. How's it going, man? Oh, dude, it's so crazy. So <laughs> Bangkok, how many events this year? More than 900. That's insane. <laughs> That's more than like Token Tour Fund in Singapore. That's yeah. insane. Oh, so it's even more. I but the so. traffic's worse. Yeah, it's really bad. Yeah, but, but you know, are happier. <laughs> yeah, that's the thing. It's you know, Bitcoin all-time highs, right? Like the vibrant energy, like you can just see it in everyone's faces. So nice. yeah. exactly, exactly, it's different, you know. Yeah, and I feel like everyone wants to figure out what's going on. I feel like there's a feeling of like, okay, we want to know what the best dev is because we want to get the 100x. That is absolutely true. So it's like now that we know it's you know bull market confirmed, people are like, okay, what's next? What token should I buy? What do I need to build? So I think that's like the main themes here. One narrative that I believe is going to be taking off in a massive way is the Bitcoin ecosystem narrative. At the end of the day, the market cap of Bitcoin is $1.8 trillion. This still dwarfs everything else out there. And there's not much DeFi and other sort of development on Bitcoin. So why not enable that? So Rootstock's been doing exactly that. They're a side chain for Bitcoin. They have Ethereum virtual machine compatible side contracts. And then now you can start doing DeFi on both Bitcoin and Ethereum. They're launching their new ecosystem. So this is where it gets actually quite exciting. So now that the contracts are available, now that there's developers that are ongoing there, teamwork between chains and of course building more projects is really key. So in the next part, Ron will talk about some opportunities that there are on Rootstock. Now, out of all the Bitcoin DeFi ecosystem, now is actually the best time to be positioning for Rootstock. Because just this month, they launched the Bitcoin Genesis Countdown, where you can interact with many different projects that have partnered with Rootstock. And the prize pool for this campaign is $100,000. Now, at the time of this recording, we have 42 days left until the end of this campaign. And if you want to get started, all of the quests are tracked on Galaxy. So if you click start the first quest now, it'll take you to Rootstock's Galaxy. And you can see these are all of the tasks that you can complete. If you scroll down in the Rootstock website, you can see these are everyday tasks that you can interact with, such as Rubik, OpenOcean, Elk Finance, and Merkle even. This is a good platform for you to yield farm as well. And they're all tracked on Galaxy. As you can see, if I click Rubik, it'll take you to Rubik's Galaxy. So completing these tasks are gonna be very crucial in developing your on-chain footprint that will contribute to earning that $100,000 prize pool. Now, there are a lot of quests here, which means you need to interact with many different protocols. And if you're afraid of gas fees, don't worry, because Rootstock has a very, very low gas fee, considering that they are the OG sidechain for Bitcoin. So the average transaction fee at the time of this recording peaks at 0.00008 RBTC, which is roughly 75 cents. And there you have it. That's how you interact with the Rootstock ecosystem. Very, very time sensitive. 42 days left if you want to make the most out of Bitcoin DeFi airdrop farming as well as yield farming for some of these projects. Back to you, Mike. 
I'm here with Darren, the co-founder of NoPay. How's it going, Darren? Yeah, it's, it's been really good, man. Yeah, and you're really excited, right? This is like the, I guess, the best timing, the right place at the right time. Oh, I think the, the energy completely shifted, right? As soon as, obviously, the market turned. I think the buzz in Bangkok here is amazing. We've got, I think we've got everyone here in Bangkok from globally, essentially, yeah. in the industry. Yeah. And what's NoPay doing? So what, what are you guys doing so far? Yeah, so uh, we're an AI infrastructure. We're, we're building our real-time data retrieval technology to really help companies uh, retrieve real-time data uh, to accelerate AI training. Okay, okay, okay. So, you know, uh, okay, so, so this is a lot to unpack, actually, yeah. in, in one sentence, yeah. okay? Yeah. So kind of like a big picture, you're, you're helping companies with AI training. What, what, how, how does this help? How, how does this, like, how does everything fit together? Yeah, so one of the biggest problems with AI right now is that high-quality data is really hard to retrieve, mm. right? Mm. So we built the infrastructure to allow uh, all of our users participate right in the data retrieval process. Oh, so just more people retrieving the data and yeah. getting the community involved, which is the power of kind of where how to decentralize, decentralized network, yeah, right? Exa exactly right. So all of our users uh, run a node and that allows us to essentially scrape public data. We bring that in-house and make the data really useful for AI companies, Ooh. right? And we do that in real time. Right. And how can the public you know, help or you know, how, how can the community help you guys? Yeah, so all you got to do is uh, go to nopay.ai, run a node, it's in the form of a Chrome browser extension and let it run automatically and then essentially you'll be able to contribute and earn with our ecosystem. Yeah. Awesome, so just look for opportunities there guys, that's yeah. amazing. Yeah, so right now we have over uh, a million users on the network, over 180 countries, so come join us. Awesome, awesome. Yeah. I'll see you around, I hope this conference goes yeah. well for you. Uh, thanks Cheers. so much. Thank you. So we're here with Miguel from Stakeys. Oh my God, this is a this is a very exciting DevCon, isn't it? It is, man. It's been it's been crazy, yeah, these last few days. It's it's like it's unbelievable, right? I think it's like we just like came out of a long slumber. <laughs> <laughs> man, coming to DevCon is exactly at ninety k Bitcoin. It's like. Yeah, exactly, you, could, you, could, you couldn't like time me better. Exactly, and I think like the the interesting thing is now everyone's interested in crypto. Yeah, I agree. You know, I'm starting to receive. I don't know about you, but I'm starting to receive like messages from like friends and staff asking me, you know, which coins should I buy? Should I invest with Bitcoin? Should I go with this? Exactly. So it's, um, and they're all jealous of us now, right? That's a that's a difference. Like all of a sudden, they're oh my god, I should have I should have listened to you. Oh my god. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, and and I guess a lot of devs are here, a lot of communities here. What do you find the vibe of the conference so far? I think very. I, th I think it's one of the best conferences that I've been lately. Yeah. Like the energy is back, you know, you can see that everyone's like pumped again, yeah. you know, all that depression that we've been having for the last couple of years, yeah, it's kind of gone. gone. People is like ready to, to party, to, to, to party, party and, and to money. And make money and more develop. I see actually people developing. I actually do see yeah. people with their laptops out, just like let's instead of partying, let's pull up a laptop <laughs> and let's try some code. <laughs> yeah, but um, things go hand in hand, right? Like if you've got the energy, if you've got the attitude, you know, if you're like happy, yeah. you want to build things. You know, if everyone's depressed around you, yeah. it's harder. Exactly. So what are you guys doing at Stakeys? Yeah, so well, we've built. Um, Restaking is a restaking index. Mm. So basically, we consolidate different LRTs under one token. So when you restake with us, you're getting uh, a basket of different LRTs oh. like EtherFi, Renzo, Swell, Kelp. And then, so you have a diversified restaking portfolio automatically. Mm -hmm. And then, what I think is interesting about us is then we put these LRTs into DeFi strategies. Mm. So we put in balancing pools, curve pools. These strategies, they adjust depending which one is giving uh, better yields, and that goes directly 100% to the basic. So that goes everything for the users. And it's actually really quite interesting because, I mean, our channel, we started with mining, and back in the day, to earn EVE, you got to mine. Right now, to earn Eve, you got to stake. But now, to earn Eve, you got to restake. And to earn Eve, you got to earn more. You got to restake and put those into a basket of currencies, and then put in a balancer pool. It's a, it's a different ecosystem, and it's a much more vibrant ecosystem. Yeah, things have changed, right? Things keep evolving. They keep changing, and I think with restaking, we're just at the very beginning. Uh, we're going to see in the next six months, nine months, tons of, the, of AVSs. There's more than 100 being built at the moment. So the yields are going to be quite high, yeah. and, but it also becomes a little bit complicated for yeah. the normal user, you know? Yeah, it's harder to understand, but I guess like one thing I learned is that money matters a lot. Being able to have just like an indicator of we got, we got funds, that matters, right? True, so, true, true, yeah. very true. So that's, that's where we come in. We're trying to simplify that journey. Mm. So 
And how do you, how do you offer more security? Because I mean, obviously, you, you said also it's very hard to understand what's going on. You know, how how do you make it easier right now? Yeah. So the way we make it easier is that first, you know, we all our transactions, all our platform is being built cross chain. Mm -hmm. So you can restake from 15 different chains, one single wallet interaction. You can use any nice. ERC20 token, and then it all, it's all automatic. So we just restake with us, we take care of the rest. Awesome. Instead of having to restake into EtherFi, into mm -hmm. Renzo, and then go and Everything. check, check what can, I, what can I do with these tokens? So I go in balance pools, so I check Aave, I check Radian, I check Curve. Mm -hmm. We do everything for you. You just okay. restake with us, press, you know, sign the transaction, and forget okay. about it. Okay, so basically, if a user wants to play, they just come and check out stakeys, and that's all good. You go. good. You're awesome. good to go. Perfect. Too easy. Right. Let's check it out, guys. Check it out. All right, so we're here with Zach. So Zach, we've seen each other many times, every yeah. conference. Yeah. And last time we saw each other was in Token. Correct. Yeah. So yeah, right now we're in DEF CON, like yeah. very let's, let's different turn around. vibe. Shiver, shiver around. Yeah, shiver around. Okay, token, different vibe. Very different vibe, lots of builders talking about how to build things, very focused on creating the best code, the best implementation. So um, for me, it's, um, it's a breath of fresh air. I, I really love this conference, <laughs> yeah. How's everything going though? How do you find the market so far? Um, yeah, the market is getting back. So I think DEF CON is, I don't know how they do it, like they chose the best time. So the market's like really <laughs> going up. Everyone's so hyped up, um, but most are developing so still very focused on coding mm -hmm. so still very grounded but um, very excited with 2025 it's going to be a crazy year yeah I can see in your eyes it's like this like oh we were waiting for this we were waiting like three four years for for this moment now this is our moment to shine yeah exactly so for us we have been building Pundi AI allowing people to annotate uh, AI data on our platform so this is a great year and people are really looking at how to get into crypto and how to leverage crypto with AI so I think we are at a really nice spot so that narrative is really strong. So you believe in that narrative? Yes. Yeah? Fully, yes. So in terms of building, obviously right now, I think the first consequence of the market is that the it's getting expensive to send. So how, how are you guys scaling? How are you guys tackling the scaling issue? Right, so if you're talking about like technical scaling, I think there's a lot of layer two. Mm -hmm. So one of the focus in this event is that how Ethereum can scale through layer two via different technology, uh, optimistic, ZK. So. For us as well, we want to be in the scaling environment so that our AI data platform is launched across different uh, layer twos, through the layer twos onto layer one. So base, Ethereum. So we are very much plugged into the developer ecosystem mm -hmm. to use the technology advantage that we see today, mm -hmm. the EIPs to deliver um, the cheapest gas, the fastest implementation. So very excited. Yeah. Exactly, exactly. I'm super excited. So I hope to see you around. I hope to see some like really good kills. Like you can just like I think you guys are killing it, so I really feel like this is the time to just really kill it and make it happen. Yes. See you All right. Soon. Thank you guys. Cheers. All right. So Ethereum DevCon was just super crazy. I think the key here is that this decides the future of the next two, three years for what's gonna happen in crypto. If you actually follow the developments and follow what's gonna happen you'll know the projects that will do the 10, maybe even 100x. So we cover some of the key narratives here. And I honestly believe that if you have the time, you should definitely check out one of these developer conferences. If not, I think the interviews provided a lot of insight for what is going on. And I hope you find that really, really insightful. So guys, thank you guys so much for watching this video. I'll see you guys in the next one.